What is up YouTube? One of my fondest memories of growing up as a child is when my mom and grandma would fry up some grated potatoes on a pan. Whether you call these potato pancakes, placki ziemniaczane like I call them in Polish, or latkas, these potato creations are crispy and delicate on the outside and soft and flavorful on the inside. If you can relate, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you're trying these for the first time, you're in for a treat. Either way, let's go. All right, friends, here we go. We're gonna start with about two pounds or one kilogram of potatoes. As you see, this is about three russet potatoes. You're gonna start peeling until all the potatoes are peeled. Using a box grater, we're gonna get started with the grating. I like to grate half the potatoes on the smallest hole. This will give the final result a nicer texture and it's also a good workout. Place the finely grated potato into a strainer. If you notice the potatoes are changing color, this is normal and the potatoes are just oxidizing. Now you'll switch over to the largest setting. You will notice that this is a lot easier to grate. Look at me go. Place the rest of the potatoes into the strainer. It's time to grate a medium sized onion on the smallest setting. If the onions are making you emotional, feel free to take a break. If you took a break, it's time to get back into the grind. You will finish grating the rest of the onion until it's all grated. Place the finely grated onion into the grated potato mix. To the mix, you will add three quarters of a tablespoon of kosher salt and mix thoroughly. Feel free to press on the onions and potato mixture to encourage water to drain into the bowl. While we wait for the potatoes and onion to drain, we're gonna get started with the applesauce to top the potato pancakes. Starting with about two pounds or one kilogram of apples, peel all the apples. Cut around the core of the apple. After cutting out all the cores, you will cut each piece into smaller pieces so the cooking process does not take as long. Place all the apple chunks into a small pot. Cover with a half a cup or 120 milliliters of water and an eighth of a cup or 30 grams of sugar. Spark up the range. Mix the apples, water, and sugar mixture until everything's incorporated. Once the water is boiling, cover the pot and lower the heat to a simmer. Periodically, check to see if the apples look soft. When the apples break apart easily, they're ready. Turn off the heat. When the apples had enough time to cool down, place them into a cup or a blender. Using an immersion blender or a regular blender, blend until your desired consistency. I like to blend until I have no apple chunks, but whatever floats your boat. To that, you're gonna add a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon and mix until everything's incorporated. Congratulations, you have just made applesauce and you will never buy store-bought applesauce ever again. Back to the potatoes. If you don't have time for gravity to do its job, you can drain the potatoes using a dishcloth. Wrap the potatoes in the dishcloth and begin to drain until all the liquid is gone or you can stop when you feel that you've had enough and your muscles are burning. After you are done draining the potatoes, let the liquid rest for 10 to 15 minutes. Carefully drain the liquid off and you will be left with the potato starch at the bottom. Yes, potato starch. Cool, right? Add the potatoes to the potato starch. To that you will add two eggs, one tablespoon of flour. Mix everything until everything is incorporated. Spark up the range to a medium heat. Into the pan you're going to add enough high heat oil to coat the bottom of the pan. Using the potatoes, create a small ball of raw potatoes and flatten into the desired thickness. Place that into the pan and repeat until you have no more room on the pan. Fry for about two to four minutes or until golden brown on the bottom. After they are golden brown on the bottom, it's time to get flipping. Wait two to four minutes or until golden brown and transfer to a cooling rack. Pat your beautiful creations with a paper towel to absorb some of the oil. Tap, 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 tap. You're gonna sprinkle with salt and transfer to a plate for topping. You can top using the traditional applesauce. Yes, if you've never tried this, it's a nice combo. 
or you can top with a sour cream and green onion. Or my personal favorite, sour cream, smoked salmon, and green onion. Oh man, this is so good. Well, there you have it, folks. Whether you're calling these homemade potato pancakes, platki jemnyachana, or latkes, you're not gonna be disappointed. You could enjoy these during the holidays or any time of the year. If you like this video and you wish to see more, hit the like and subscribe button to be notified of future videos. Until next time, thank you for checking out Raffle Loves Food and we'll see you soon.